to win, people have to go into a pause mode and a silent mode. <laughs> Not only that, you send tanks, you send guns, you send bullets to citizens who have voted for you. <coughs> Can you see that is a contradiction in terms? Why do you kill people who have voted for you? Why do you kill people who love you or whom you love? It tells you a big story about the manipulation of the vote. Even in the rural areas, the parliamentary majority is fictitious. I can tell you this. I mean, it's all manufactured because they have almost an all-pervasive control of the electoral process, compounded by being in bed with Zek to manipulate the will of the people, particularly in the rural areas. So you must understand, when I say, yes, we removed Mugabe, but not Mugabeism. Yes, Mugabe is gone, but his system is intact. In fact, it has perfected its art. The danger with this Munangagwa is that Munangagwa tells you love, but gives you hate. Munangagwa walks light, but he, he actually, he talks light, but walks darkness. That's the problem. Deception. He will give you a rule to say Zimbabwe is open for business when he knows that what he wants is to open Zimbabwe for looting. Those are the issues. And you must know the inconsistency. That's why I said the leopard has not changed its skin and spots. The second one. Yeah, how, how will you govern if you're indeed the... Very well. <laughs> Governing does not need parliament. I will govern very well. Government does not need parliament. No, does not need a majority in parliament. Don't you want to change laws? Don't you want to... When you want to then change legislation, you then have to go into some parks to make sure that certain legislation passes. So you would not do any power sharing if you were the president? You would do idea sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There are journalists who have just come in here. Anybody have a question on this side? <coughs> no? Okay. I'm Maggie from Bastop TV News. Yes, Maggie. Yes. yes. I wanted to ask... Uh, when violence erupted yesterday, sure. where were you? And also, why didn't you come and try and tell the people to stop? I know you said they were not your people, yes. but I'm sure they would have listened to you. Well, I was very far away. Okay. I know you would want to know where I was, Maggie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think for some other time, I will tell you. But I was not around. Um, and actually, I received the call when I was out of town. And I just had to respond. I tried to then check who was on the ground, but clearly it was not an MDC program. You know, I checked with the organizing secretary here present, I checked with the youth leadership, it was not an MDC organized program. Because when we are organizing programs, we don't do it Nicodemusly or surreptitiously. We give due notice and we don't use violence, we use peace. We have demonstrated before, we have done it before. We don't believe in violence. Violence is not part of our DNA, but if you check the DNA of ZANU-PF, Violence is part of their national anthem. It's their art. They believe that violence is a way and a tool of dealing with issues. Why would you open fire on innocent civilians? Who opened that fire? Who gave that instruction? Who is the commander-in-chief? <coughs> Why was that allowed? Has that person been arrested? What are they doing to account for the loss of life? The sanctity and dignity of humanity and human life is so important. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, right? Uh, thank you very much. I just wanted to have more time with journalists today because I felt that uh, I had not given enough time. But thank you very much. You know, you are great. You have been wonderful in your reporting. Uh, I want to thank you very, very much. Uh, we have appreciated your reporting. You know, we wish we could have all of you here in Zimbabwe all the way through. I think Zimbabwe will be a better country. Thank you very much.